This video is going to demonstrate how easy it is to work in a modeler that is not feature-based. First, we are going to start off with a part that was made in Pro-E. What this is, is a class. So, during initial rep prototype phase, we realize that we have some wrong dimensions. So, what we need to do is go through here and find the original cross-section sketch and make some engineering changes to the dimensions. The overall length needs to be extended by 2 millimeters, so we're going to change this to 162 millimeters. Also, what we need to do is change another dimension in here, uh, the top part of this class. We are going to extend it by 5 millimeters. So what we have to do here is change some of the other dimensions around so that we can do this. Now we're changing this now from 10 millimeters to 15. Now as you'll see during regeneration, due to constraints, we will get a failure. Now what I'm going to do is bring this into space lane to show you how easy it is to modify this part in a non-feature-based modeling system. Here's our part in space climb. Now as you can see, there are two common tangency edges. What I'm going to do is create a plane at these two edges, and then with the combined cut tool, select on the solid and cut the solid in two by the plane. Now I have two solids. Now what I'm going to do is move this solid, the two millimeters, for my adjustment. Now with the pull tool, I'm going to select the two faces where they are separated and create a blend. This will merge the two solids together. Now what we have to do is make our other adjustment. So what I'm doing here is I'm selecting the faces here associated with the lip that I need to extend 5 millimeters. Now I'm creating a ruler dimension to the top surface, and this is 20 millimeters. So then I would just add 5 to this, or 25 millimeters. Now what I'm going to do is save this as a new version. The reason why I'm going to say this as a new version is I want to create a 3D markup. 3D markup is an excellent communication tool. What this allows is a comparison in an old model and a new model. What I'm going to do here is bring in the new model and then the old model and show a comparison in the difference in dimensions. What this does is allows you to dimension a part with the new dimensions and a labeled prior dimension. So the model on the left is the new version and the model I'm moving here is the old version. And what I'm going to do here is start dimensioning. Uh, and what I want to do is show the dimensions um, that are changed. So what I'm doing here is selecting this surface here to the center point to show the overall change in length. Uh, was 105 millimeters and now 107. And now I'm going to also show the change in length for the lip, and we are done.